mission, Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed. Leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be her boarding party. There's no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. 
You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be... I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Grand Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Apparently. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, just tell the captain that I- Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait, Just to be no. super clear on the mom. around the corner we'll be safe there here help me with this ready together on three two one <laughs> go go okay we need to keep moving this way that Nikki just stay Whoa. close I knew there was something wrong about that church ship who goes fishing for God in a junkyard This is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate footgear. Come on. If I can fly up... No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer... Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door. Whoa. 
Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Or sure anything. Almost there. Yes! Got it! Through here! Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. still in charge here, you know? Of course you are. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. Get back here, pirate. Wow, wow, okay. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. This is another one of your bots? Yeah, her name's Jocasta. Uh, she keeps an eye out for stuff. Invaders, trespassers, prisoners who keep wandering off. Ugh, are you kidding me? This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know. 
because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I 
think your mom might be on to you. I don't know what you're talking about. On to you about what? I don't know. I'm stuck in an elevator with crazy people. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings. More like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom. I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, Part of me was excited, at first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all, you're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow, um, okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close... Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we... Don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Yeah, I won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? 
Peter. You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. Peter Quill! Tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. <laughs> do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot! Groot. You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Groot. Is that my toothbrush? Groot. Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it... it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the... Dolls. Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. No 
wonder Rocket's the way he is. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I i thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yondu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space Dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. 
Really? Thirty seven units? We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice. Guys. I think we should hear out Groove for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. I am Groot. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? You, you are.